Have you heard of Fufu Kwon? Yes, today we are going to be making Fufu Kwon and Okra. Hello, lovesies. Today we are going to be making Fufu Kwon. So you started by putting enough water in your pot. You allow the water to boil. I mean boiling water. I don't have what they call kindi, so I had to make mine from a already sifted flour, okay? So after I've sifted that one, I removed a little, mixed it, and I kept by the side, as you can see. I opened now my already boiled water, deduct some of the water to preserve it because I'll be needing it earlier. So after that, I'm going to be pouring in back the already mixed candy that I done earlier, okay? So you're going to give that a good stir until it's ready. You can see how boiled it is. I'm going to be pouring in now my flour. You're going to give that a good mix. Yes, you're going to mix that. If you don't do that very fast, it's going to form lumps. So after I've mixed it for the first round, I will, uh, the water that I already preserved, I had to remove some and add because I don't want my fukon to be hot, okay? So you can see me opening by the side so the water can penetrate into the pot, thereby causing a pot not to burn. So after you've done that, you close your pot again, you open it after it has boiled, you give that a good me. I did that three times and my fukon was ready, okay? So that was me. Time, trying to tie my fukon into my wrapper. Just watch. So you have to first of all smoothen it. You can see that the part I took was very smooth, okay? You're going to place it into your wrapper. And you fold it like that because you will see why I'm folding like that. At the end of this video, it's going to give it a very good shape, okay? So I had to repeat the process. Yes, you can see me folding. It is very easy. And it is very, very good too. It's light. Lighter than eba and fufu okay so dive into the soup we're going to be making our okra i already have a um i think two recipes of okra down so if this one is too fast you can just always scroll down my page and check out and all the ingredients i'll be using for this okra i'll always drop them in the caption below and if there's any other question that you don't if there's any question you want to ask or anything you've seen in the video that you don't understand Please feel free to ask me in the comment section. I'll gladly answer, okay? So that was my okra. Almost getting ready. I like adding vegetables to my okra. I know most of us do. Okay, so after you've added it, our okra was ready. That is how it came out. It was looking so delicious. And this was our fufu corn. You can see that it's already hardened, okay? It was looking, it came out beautiful too. It was time for me to eat. You have to wash your hand properly because you use your hand to eat this food. So that was me. You can see the shape. Like I said earlier, you can see that is the reason I tied it in the wrapper earlier. You can see how beautifully it came out, okay? So I had to eat and it was so yummy. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. Lovely. See you in the next video. Bye.